everybody. Uh, I've got something for you again today. I know you expect to see my smiling face by now, but I need something I got to show you on the computer here today, so uh, I can't be on camera. I'm real big on customer service, as some of you may or may not know, and I'm not getting what I expect to get right about now, and I, the world needs to know about this. This is unfortunately a major problem for me. Some of you may know that Vig the Geek is going to be getting married here in the near future. Ju June... June 10th. June 10th? June 10th. I don't even remember already. June 10th, 2011. I'll be getting married. All right. In the meantime, we're trying to do all this planning. You also know I'm down here in Mississippi. The wedding's going to be up in New Jersey. So we need to try to plan this from a distance. And so in addition to my full-time job, making these videos for you guys, writing these articles that I do, all right, we're trying to make all this happen. So what do we do? We go right to the number one website that everybody recommends to us called The Knot, as in tie the knot. You know what? There's nothing about The Knot that makes me want to be tied to them. They're an absolute misery. First things first, look at the website. This is what you see. That's customer service. Forget that. Here's the homepage when you get there. Where do you go next? You've got 2,000 links on this side. You've got a billion pictures all over the place. The login is this little, little tiny thing up here at the top. Scroll down, and it's just shit everywhere. But, of course, the most prominent things are the Nest and the Bump. They're affiliates, so they're there to make money off you. Make no mistake about that. But you want to search for somebody? Click on Search the Nut. Type that in. Wrong place. Scroll down. Going to a wedding. Find their gift registry. Find a couple's wedding web page. That's where it is. That's the only way that you can find somebody from this mess of a front page. So you create one of these for yourself. Let's say things don't go as planned. All right? Maybe your loved one finds comfort in the arms of another and you move on down the line. Now you're going to get married a second time. Guess what? Your old engagement's still going to be on that website. Guess what else? You can't get rid of it. Guess what else? You make a new one and you call them to get rid of the old one. What do they do? They get rid of the new one and the old one, so you can't log into either one. That's not it, though. When you search for them, they both still show up. So now you've got your name on there twice, one to your old fiancé, one to your current fiancé. You can't log in and alter or fix either one of them. So that's embarrassing. So what do you do? Whatever any natural person is going to do, we're going to go to customer service. Here's the customer service page. General customer service email. No phone number, probably because they got tired of hearing people complain about how shitty their service is. The wedding shop, you can call them if you need to purchase things. Local vendors, you can call them if you need to purchase things. What else? Emails. That's it. Nothing. So after Linda goes through this several times and gets nowhere with these people, I finally step in and I try calling them. And I called the number for the wedding pages right here. Wedding pages ties into Facebook. We'll be there in a minute. So I try calling them, and it goes right to voicemail. I left them a not-so-pleasant message yesterday, and what happens? No response, but the account gets deleted. Okay, well, I'm still searchable. She's still searchable under both of them. Finally, today, I call this customer service number for shopping. That one right there, 390-9784, and I get a human being. Of course, when they want to take your money, somebody picks up the phone real fucking quick. So I start talking to her, tell her that I need to have this situation rectified. And what happens? She passes me to, guess what? Voicemail. Hang up. Finally, the bottom of the page, under privacy policy, we find this link here. And sure enough, there's a number to their corporate office in the middle of Manhattan. Well, with privacy policy, they have to provide a phone number. So I called. What did I get? More promises of a call back. I told them I'd hold off on this video that I'm making right now until Thursday when the call came back. But you know what? They dug their hole. They got to get out of it with me and now with you guys too. That's pretty much the long and short of the knot. But I told you, they've got a Facebook page. So let's go over here to Facebook. Here's Linda's wedding book page. She made all of the bridesmaids. We decided, and the groomsmen, we decided we were going to take those off in the meantime. You know... We'll share this with the world, but on our own terms. My list is not complete. You know, she still has some talking to do. We got to do some things with this before we want to announce it to the world. So what do you do? Click on the little edit button, like you normally do on Facebook, right? Delete the names. Here. We'll just delete this one at the top. 
all gone. One at a time. See these names disappearing? You're watching it happen for yourself, folks. Clear that out and clear that out. Nice and empty, right? I'm not going to publish a blank thing to my news feed. Let's go ahead and save this. Looks good. Looks like it's saving. Page is loading. Let's give it a second. Nothing there, right? All empty. Thought so too. Wedding profile. And everybody is right back again. Let's go back to the edit page. Let's use their recommended way of doing it. Hover over here. Remove person. Click to remove. Looks like it's going through just like the last time, right? Guess what? We're fooled again. Sorry, unable to remove the selected person. Right below the box that says you can also delete a photo or remove a person. So the Knotts website is cluttered and doesn't make any sense. Their account services don't work as advertised. The customer service doesn't call you back and they just delete things at random as they see fit. Move over to the Facebook side and once you make it, you are locked in stone. That's it. Carved in stone. Can't change anything. Can't delete anything. Can't alter anything. <clears throat> the Knot looks like an excellent place. It probably makes sense for people whose wedding goes 100% smooth at exact timelines. They make it. They create it, they click go, and they walk away, and they don't touch it again until their wedding day. Which personally I think seems contrary to the purpose of having this thing in the first place. But that's probably how it works. Now along the line you have an issue, you need to change, alter, delete, amend, append, or further make changes to this. Guess what happens? Absolutely nothing. And they don't respond either. So, consider where you go. If you're getting married soon, or considering getting married soon, or just hoping it happens soon, I know people who've been on this website for long before they even got engaged just for that one special day when it all comes true. Try to avoid the knot. You know, you may see a website for me in the future called Not The Knot, which does exactly the same thing as The Knot does, and maybe this one will fucking work. So, think about where you're going. This is going out to the world. Pass this on. Show everybody. Now's the time where people are starting to plan spring 2011 weddings. 18 months out is what I'm learning is the case. This website's going to be huge right around now. Point your friends, point your family, point yourself to this video. Make sure people do not use this website. If you do use it and it screws you over, let me know. I'm not going to say I told you so. Well, I might say I told you so. But I want to know. Because I want to know if I'm the only one that's getting dicked around by these people or if this is just how they conduct business. All right? Vig the Geek, at JVig on Twitter. VigTheGeek.com, forthcoming shortly. Jason.Viglione at gmail.com. You've got me here on iTunes. You've got me on Facebook. I'm absolutely everywhere. Any questions, complaints, gripes, criticisms, keep them to yourself. But if you have anything you want to talk about, come to me for it, and we'll discuss it. Talk to you soon.